Do you miss going out on dates? Guess what? You can take yourself on a date quarantine style and have a blast. I know it sounds crazy, but bear with me. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Kayla here. I am psyched that you guys are back. I'm really excited about this video. So if you're looking for ways to live an abundant and purposeful life with Jesus, you are in luck. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and be a part of this wonderful community. All right, guys, let's jump right in. So we've been talking a lot about, you know, season of singleness and how we can use this time to the fullest. But just because you're single doesn't mean that you can't take yourself on dates and it doesn't mean that you can't treat yourself. And I know that I've seen, you know, a lot of stuff, of course, on Instagram and on social media about you know self-care and I totally believe in that but I think it's so much more powerful if we can look at self-care through the lens of the Bible and like how we can have a godly self-care day are you interested watch on so we've talked about this before we are comprised of three parts we're a body a soul and a spirit so we're gonna look at how we can take ourselves on a quarantine style date through those three lenses, our body, our soul, and our spirit. All right, let's jump in. So first let's look at our body. How can we have a day where we just take care of our body in a godly way? First and foremost, let's start with a Bible verse. Let's start with 1 Corinthians chapter 19 and 20. Don't you realize that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit who lives in you and was given to you by God? You do not belong to yourself. We've talked about this before in other videos, and this is so true. Our body is a temple of the Holy Spirit. So we need to be good stewards of our human bodies while we're here on earth. So a couple ideas of how you can just totally treat and love on your body during your date. You can go for a walk and enjoy nature and get your body moving. You can give yourself an awesome workout if that's your jam. It is really important to do something active for your body for at least 20 minutes a day. So definitely try to do something where you're getting your body moving during your day. Your body, your soul, and your spirit will thank you for it later. You can really treat yourself. You can make yourself an at-home DIY face mask, take a bubble bath. Oh, wow, that sounds amazing, right? Like what is better than putting on a nice face mask and just sinking into a hot bubble bath? Nothing is better than that. You can bake or cook something really fun and treat yourself with an amazing meal or an amazing baked good. There's just so much you can do that can just treat your body on your date. All right, let's look at our soul, how we can love on our soul. Let's look at 3 John 1 verse 2. Beloved, I pray that you may prosper in all things and be in health just as your soul prospers. So right, we wanna have good health, we wanna take care of our body as we just talked about, but we also want our soul to prosper. So what does that look like on your date? Well, our soul is comprised also of three parts. It's our mind, our will, and our emotions. So think about ways that you can really just feed your soul by looking at, again, your mind, will, and emotions. So first, when it comes to our mind, we've talked about this many times, it's so important to take our thoughts captive. And if you have negative self-talk, this is the time to be like, mm, no, I'm not accepting this negative self-talk. Instead, I'm going to replace it with what the Bible says about me. I've done a video on biblical affirmations, so I'll link that for you guys above. So you guys can really just take this day and even if it sounds cheesy, who cares? Look yourself in the mirror and read those biblical affirmations over yourself and say like, this is the truth that God said over me. I'm not gonna believe these lies in my mind right now. Instead, I'm gonna say and claim who God says I am. So that would be an amazing way to treat yourself on this day is to just speak God's word over your life. When it comes to the emotions part of your soul, something I love to do when I'm treating myself, I do this with my family, we love to watch movies, but wholesome, godly movies. We have a subscription to Pure Flix, which is kind of like a streaming service like Netflix, but it's wholesome, get it, Pure Flix. And I think it's really cool sometimes because you do just wanna veg out, but you can still learn a good lesson. And there's a lot of movies about either Bible stories or just people that had amazing encounters with God and their lives were transformed or they learned amazing lessons with God and you can just veg out but still learn and feed your soul at the same time. And yeah, another thing you can do in regards to your mind is just realizing, wow, there's so many people that we can learn from in the Bible. As we've done many times here on this channel, we've taken some amazing Bible stories and lessons that we can learn from them. So 
use this time to maybe study someone in the Bible. I do She Reads Truth. Their subscription boxes every month. We're gonna be reading about Esther and I'm so excited because I love the story of Esther, especially as a woman. I feel like it's so empowering. So I would use that time to just really build up my soul and learn more about biblical people that I really wanna just glean from and learn from. All right, and lastly, our spirit. We cannot forget about our spirit. Oh, this noise in the background, I can't even. So let's look at Galatians 5:25. If we live in the spirit, let us also walk in the spirit. We really are a spirit in a body with a soul. And it's so important to feed our spirit, but oftentimes that's like the last thing that we do. We might work out, read a book, do all that jazz, take care of our body, take care of our soul, but then we forget about our spirit. But this really truly is the most important part. So on your little date, take time to feed your spirit, trust me. So it's important to have solitude and silence with the Lord, to just literally just come, just to sit at Jesus's feet, to learn from him and hear what he has to say, what God has to say, what the Holy Spirit is saying, and just take that time to spend with the triune God. I just can't stress that enough. So either start your day or end your day, just whatever it takes for you to just have silence and solitude with the triune God. That's just gonna feed your spirit in such a way that it's gonna just blow your mind. Yeah, and pray about the things that are taking peace away from your life that's really just hindering you and hurting you. Get revelation on what that is so you can pray and align with God's will instead. Ask the Holy Spirit to show you the areas of your life where your soul is not in submission to your spirit so that you can grow closer and closer to the spirit each and every single day. So again, do not forget this part. So this is you know different than the other date stuff. It's really just having quiet time in the secret place with the triune God. So just make sure that you have that time every single day, multiple times a day if you can. All right guys, let's end in prayer. Ah, thank you, Father. Father, we just wanna embark on this journey where we learn how to love ourselves the way that you love us. We just wanna use this time to figure out what you've said about us and what you've said over us. We wanna break the agreements that have just led us astray in our lives. And we wanna use this time just to be quiet with you, to have solitude with you, to take care of the body that you gave us with the utmost respect and honor. We wanna take time to feed our soul and to learn more about you and what you've said, to be a good steward of ourselves in all aspects from our body, our soul, and our spirit. And we just ask you to always guide us on this journey and to show us your truth and reveal your truth. And we pray this all in your son Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Awesome, guys. I'm super excited. Please drop me a comment below if you have any other ideas for self dates you can do that are quarantine approved. Or if you try any of these ideas that I talked about here, please drop me a comment. I would love to know how you guys really treated yourself, body, soul, and spirit. All right, guys, as always, feel free to give this a thumbs up, share it with your family and friends, and stay tuned next week for the next video. All right, guys, peace, love, and blessings. Bye.